ask you a really weird question because we uh in our first episode we touched on steven seagal who I'm, I'm a big guy you know seagal he's big now um seagal when he started making more of the straight to video films you know he has a he's only there for a few weeks he has someone dub his voice my friends and i have deemed urban seagal really listen i got some personal stuff going on that makes me have to be here so why don't you take your lively chubby ass and get the fuck off my car it's my fucking hood i'm starting to get scared Starting to get scared. Come on, rob me. Let's go to me, put the banger. Tell every motherfucker on the street they're not safe till I find the motherfucker who killed my son. Simon! You understand me? Simon! That happened years ago when he started doing his straight to video films, where he walks around in his, his trench coat, which I can't fault that. I like to cover up the weight I've gained. But now he walks around and uh, his voice is sometimes dubbed over, but he's always like, motherfucker, I'm going to kill you. You in my hood now, baby. And all that, you know, all these uh, urban justice, pistol whipped and all that. Why do you think he does that now? I mean, it, it, is it, do you think it's like a, a laugh for him or uh, the producers make him do it? Why would somebody switch gears like that? You know, I'm not familiar with any of his later movies. I watch everything. I have access to all movies. I don't see anything that he's doing that's being released. So I don't even know where you're finding these movies. Maybe they're coming out of Russia or something. But I know when he was younger, he was the man. When he was younger, I enjoyed his movies, Above the Law, uh, some of those others, because I like seeing that there's consequences for actions when they would be whomever, and they're picking on somebody or raping somebody, whatever, he would deal justice. And it was immediate. And it was like the vigilante. And I liked it. I get frustrating in life as it is now when there's no justice. We all do. But in the movies, I can kind of like just escape reality, watch Steven Seagal. And I know if you mess with him, he's going to hurt you. And he's going to do it in a way where you're going to hear the crackling of bones at the same time. So I really, when I was coming up, listening, watching uh, movies. I his movies were some of my favorites.